This is my badge for the day. Westerville Police Department Junior Police Officer Cadet. Wearing a badge brings many responsibilities. All right, guys. For detectives and officers. Otterbein Security saw uh, two females trying to steal a landscaping rocks from Roush Hall. It could be as simple as solving a petty theft to remembering the reality behind police pursuits. To know when to chase and when not to chase. So just want to remind everybody that we have to think about what we're chasing for. Westerville's 911 dispatch center answers more than 200 calls a day. It can track a cell phone down to five meters and knows the exact location of each cruiser. Dispatchers can also zone in on neighborhoods and send out alerts to the city's nearly 40,000 residents. Hello, this is the communicator with an important message. We would much rather deal with crimes prior to them happening in a crime prevention setting rather than reactively in responding to crimes. Our ultimate goal is to stop crime from happening. And if you walk the halls inside the police department, a rainbow of patches from around the world greet you. This is probably one of the coolest patches. Metropolis, <laughs> Illinois with Superman on it. Uh -huh. That's an actual police patch. The front lobby proudly displays Westerville's volunteer and youth programs, showcasing some of the people who make this city proud. Be safe, guys. I'll see you later on today, okay? Well, good morning to you. Here we are, Valentine's weekend. I'm with Bruce Harkey from the Franklin Park Conservatory, and Bruce has a great idea. If you're thinking a date for this Valentine's, this may be a good place to come. This is the place to come. You know, more people get engaged on Valentine's Day than any other day of the year, and we actually have people reserving special spaces where they can pop the question. Oh, pop the question. This is the place to do it. And if you do get married, or uh, you're planning a wedding this year, this would be a beautiful place to have your It wedding. is. The Palm House is one of the most popular places to get married. And on the 16th of February, we have Booking Day, which is the date that you can reserve your special weekend for 2010. Okay, for the families as well, uh, this would be a nice place. Yeah, it's romantic, mm -hmm. but to maybe get a break from winter. Absolutely. The, you know, the winter weather is going to continue for months probably. And we still have the orchid show uh, on with 75 different varieties of orchids. We have our Bending Nature art exhibit with 50 international artists and we have you know a couple pieces of chihuly around and some of the trains so. okay perfect place to escape winter and to have a nice romantic weekend i'm chris bradley 10 tv news hd it sounds like a drum session in a school music class but it's not it's not a professional jam band at a gig. It's a senior citizens program your Metro Parks designed as a relaxing, stress-free way for seniors to connect and let loose. It kind of enlarges your spirit, you know, it just, yeah, it brings life into your day. It was excellent. We have such good teachers, too. Uh, the rhythms really did something. It set up a vibration. And these drummers say jamming puts a spring in their step, brightens their eyes, and gives the seniors a workout. It's more fun than I've had in a long time. Pounding out stress is one of several programs your Metro Parks offer for seniors, and they're all free. From drumming to archery, we also have programs where we bring mammal skins, uh, we do birding programs, uh, fishing programs. Those from different walks of life found ways to groove to a beat of the same drums. With the group of people, when they sign up, you know they're going to be a little crazy, you know, so it's just fun to, to be part of that group. From Blended Woods Metro Park, Brandon Rue, 10TV News.